Rachel Ray, you need to come out and give a statement. What the fuck is going on? TMZ released this headline that reads, Rachel Ray fans concerned for her health after appearing to slur words in new video. An Instagram account for one of her shows posted a video where she's telling a story about Tony Bennett. Well, she's telling a story about almost having unalived Tony Bennett. It's a wild story. But in the video, she appears to be slurring her words and like using her hands to really support herself on that table. We've seen enough videos on this page where Rachel Ray is exhibiting those same behaviors and we've seen the COVID episodes of her show. It was just her and her husband getting drunk in her kitchen on daytime television. So I'm gonna go with she's hammered. However, a lot of users were commenting with more concern, thinking that maybe she had Bell's palsy or had a stroke. Cause a lot of people were saying she was also like talking out of one side of her mouth. Now, a lot of people were also commenting on her looks and how she's aged. And I'm all for making fun of Rachel Ray, but I think it's really hypocritical to make fun of a woman's looks and like, we all age. So I'm not gonna go there myself, but I'm gonna show you the video right now so you can decide for yourself what you think is going on. The first time he came to my house, Tony Bennett ate two portions of Osabuco, and I almost killed him. I had polished the floors in the kitchen because, well, Tony Benedetto, that's his full last name, Tony Bennett's coming to dinner. I have to make sure the floors are perfect and the house is clean and everything is just amazing. I might have gone a little overboard with the floors because when I pulled out the chair for Tony to sit down for his starter snacks and aperitivo, <laughs> the chair slid out from under him and he hit his head on my marble counter behind him and he fell to the floor and I thought I killed Tony Bennett. I thought I killed him, literally. And his wife, Susan, so glorious she says to me rachel he's fine he'll pop back up just let him be so he made it all through dinner had double portions of everything was such a gentleman i miss my friend so much the most beautiful man maybe ever and he was the biggest eater of oso buco ever in my house <laughs> oso buco it's just veal shank, slowly braised. And there are many styles of it from different cities. There's Milanese, has a little saffron in it. There's traditional that I always make with white beans. Today we're making Florentine Osso Buco. It's a different, slightly different thing. 